and welcome to Creative by Nature DIY and Decor. My name is Donna. Today I'm participating in the Fall DIY and Decor Challenge hosted by Christina from the DIY Mummy. Her channel link as well as the playlist will be down in the description box below. Okay, so for today's DIY, I am digging into my stash of old book pages. I have got a selection of craft paints here in some white, off-white, some greens and greys. I am going to give these book pages a color wash. So I'm dipping my paintbrush into some water and I'm going to add it to my paints and then I'll apply it to the book pages. As you can see, it gives it a transparent look so I can still see the text coming through. I also am going to mix my colors together a bit. If you're new, I want to say welcome and I'd love for you to join my community by tapping on the subscribe button as well as the bell to keep up to date with everything I have to share. When you're done painting some of your book pages, just set them aside to dry. So as you can see, I have got two different colors of papers and the way the paints are going to look on the papers will be different. So just play around and experiment. Okay, my papers are now all dry and we're ready to move on to the next step. So I have this Fiskars stencil that was in my stash and it came with this paper cutter. Now you could use a pencil and some scissors, trace it out and then cut your leaves out. I am going to use my paper cutter. Another option is to find a template or find another stencil and create your leaf pattern that way. Uh, but I'm just going to be using what I have on hand. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you trace it out and then cut it out. I actually ended up doing all my leaves this way. I discovered the blade on my special paper cutter was dull. So I just went ahead and just traced them out and then cut them out by hand. Okay, I have all the desired shapes and sizes of leaves cut out. I'm going to distress the edges of the leaves with some mustard yellow ink. This part is optional. Okay, I've distressed the edges. It just added a little bit more color. Okay, so now I have chose a gray yarn. You can choose any color you'd like. You could also use some jute twine. And I'm just cutting different lengths. It doesn't really matter how long you have your strings or how short. I have all my leaves in different piles, as you can see. And I'm flipping my leaves upside down. And then I'm gonna put a bead of glue on the back. And that's where I'm gonna attach my string. So I've attached assorted lengths of string to all the backs of my leaves. Okay, so I have this branch that I had foraged a while ago from outside and I had used it in a previous project. I just had removed everything but the string for the hanger. I am now going to tie all my leaves onto the branch. So to make it a little easier to tie your strands of yarn onto your branch, I suggest hanging it up on the wall. So what I do is just allow the leaf to hang in the direction that I want it to be and then I tie the leaf onto the branch. Okay, so this is optional. I have a metal word from Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue that onto the branch. So this is some preserved reindeer moss 
and I'm gonna glue some onto the branch as well as a little bit onto the leaves. This is optional. And there you have it. I love how natural and organic this turned out. And I love that I didn't have to spend any extra money. Everything was from my stash. I would love to know what you think. I want to say big thank you to Christina and my fellow creators and I want to thank all of you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!